Meanwhile, more and more oil hitting the beaches, seeping into the fragile marshes. But much of the damage you can't even see. It's, it's beneath the surface. So Sam Champion puts on his scuba gear and a hazmat suit, diving right in it to give us an extraordinary new view of the disaster, a window into the full scope of this spill. He says he's never seen anything like that before, and that's where we're going to begin. Sam is in Venice, Louisiana, after spending much of yesterday in the middle of the spill. Sam? Good morning, George and Robin. Yeah, and as bad as the pictures have been for more than a month now, you really don't get the full scope by looking at the surface. There is a new perspective this morning when you dive right in. This, critics say, is what BP does not want you to see. Oil and chemical dispersant swirling together into a toxic soup. Oh my God. Forming large plumes under the surface of the water as deep as 25 feet, perhaps deeper. The entire water column is thick of this oil and chemical dispersant mix and it's absolutely disgusting. I think this has got to be one of the most horrible things I've ever seen underwater. For nearly a month, we've seen pictures like these, showing the oil leak disaster from the air and along the surface of the Gulf's once crystal blue waters. But aside from video released by BP at the site of the leak, we haven't seen what it looks like deep below the Gulf and what's happening to this fragile and vital ecosystem. Until now. Good Morning America invited Philippe Cousteau, the chief ocean correspondent for Planet Green and the grandson of renowned oceanographer Jacques Cousteau on an exclusive and risky hazmat dive directly into the oil. We headed 25 miles out from the Louisiana coastline and then more than 25 feet down. That is coming straight over us, headed straight for us. The consistency is unlike anything I've ever seen. We wanted to see if the dispersants are breaking down the oil or if the byproduct they're forming is causing more damage to sea life. What we found, Philippe and scientists tell us, is cause for concern. A lot of people are saying that when you apply the chemical dispersion, you know, it, it disappears. The oil goes away. But here we go right now. This is evidence that doesn't happen. Instead, it appears the mixture is now breaking into small droplets, capable of passing right into the flesh of fish and birds. This oil is now suspended. You can imagine any fish or any critters coming through this would just be covered in it. I am slippery. I feel like I was just buttered. And those globs of oil and chemicals now appear to be spreading even deeper into the Gulf where they can be picked up by ocean currents. Unbelievable to be in this beautiful blue water at about 25, 26 feet. And then look up into this cloud, this dark black cloud. And honestly, it looks like a storm cloud is rolling through the water. It's just this cloud of kind of granular oil. And you can see it dispersing, going down deeper and deeper into the water column. And you know, what we're hearing is that there are plumes of oil like this beneath the surface at various different depths that can go for 10 or more miles, miles and miles thick. So this is, you know, a snapshot of what's happening here in the Gulf of Mexico. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Those suits that you see us in are specialized hazmat diving suits, and they are dry suits. They keep you protected from what's there in the water. And when we got out of the water, because we were coated in this oil and dispersant, they actually had to spray us down with a degreaser to get all of that off of us. And then you've got a shower to, to make sure that you have whatever spilled on you off, because any of that, if left on your skin, can cause burns. George? Okay, Sam, can you give us just a, uh, more of a sense of, you know, what does it smell like? What does it feel like? And, and, you know, as Philippe called this a nightmare, what does he believe this is going to mean for the entire Gulf ecosystem? Well, Philippe makes, first of all, I can tell you that as soon as you get on the water and you get anywhere near it, it smells um, like this, this terrible mixture of almost diesel fuel, gasoline, and oil. It's the kind of fumey smell that gives you an immediate headache and you have it all day because you smell it all day. But when we asked Philippe that question, here's what he said, George. He said that they don't know because they've never seen anything like this before. This is a huge area of a brand new kind of oily solution that is going to filter down through the Gulf and probably reach the bottom. So they don't know what's going to happen. And that's what frightened him the most, George. Oh, man, Sam, thanks very much. That is just extraordinary.